That's fantastic. Are you, do you want to give? Yeah, there we go. Would you come and play John? <laughs> Is that okay? Here we go. Thank you for my, my troop. Um, so Jesus went up to a mountain to pray, and he took Peter, James, and John with him. Peter, James, and John, okay? And then when they were up on the mountain, Okay, I want you to close your eyes really tight right now for this little special effect. His face shone white, and his clothes shone white, whiter than any bleach could bleach them. Okay, you can open your eyes now. And the disciples were amazed. <laughs> Be amazed. <laughs> the disciples were amazed. And Peter said, this is so good. Could we, no, wait, I missed something out. Okay, one second. Can I get Anne to come and stand here? Can I get Bishop Barry to come and stand here? <laughs> Moses and Elijah came and stood and talked to Jesus. And the disciples saw them all talking and they thought this was amazing. And then, May, you have to, uh, May are you going to come up and join us? Okay, you can come and be the extra disciple, okay? And Peter said, this is amazing. Can I build three tents so that Jesus and Moses and Elijah can all stay here together? And then that kind of fell on deaf ears and nobody went with a tent idea. Nobody was into the tents. Um, but then a cloud came and descended over all of them. It was kind of had a bright lining around it, but it was a bit of a dark cloud. And out of the cloud, a voice was heard that said, this is my son whom I love. Listen to him. It was the voice of God. And the disciples got very scared. Can you be scared? Oh, that's right. And then the, the, uh, Moses and <laughs> Elijah left. Thank you, Anne, for remembering the story. <laughs> and then the disciples were scared, and they were told, do not be afraid. And the cloud lifted. Moses and Elijah were gone, and Jesus was standing with his disciples. And he went down the mountain and said to them, don't tell anybody about what happened until I raised, I'm raised from the dead. Now, I wonder what you think about this story. What was your favorite part of the story? Lily, was it you? You were the star. <clears throat> you don't even have a favorite part because all of it was your favorite part? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was trying. Um, what part of the story do you think we could leave out and still have all the story we need? Which part didn't we need? That's the thing to puzzle about. Oh, what do you think? We could have left out the part when Jesus told them not to tell anybody else. Okay. Um, and which part of the story was about you? Do you think? You know, I have a thought about that. It's interesting because to make uh, Jesus' face shine bright, I had to use a torch for my special effect which means that his face was reflecting light, except in the actual story, I don't think there was any flashlight. There was no flashlight. His face was not reflecting light. The light was coming from him. But 
I think the disciples all around him were reflecting the light back off their faces because he was shining. And here's the thing that's about all of us. I think we're all asked to reflect the light of Christ in the world. His light's shining, and our faces can reflect Christ's light into the world and show everybody what his light is like. Will you think about shining with Christ's light in the world this week? Okay, I'm going to take that as a yes. Um, Thank you so much for listening. We are going to go to chapel now, and I'm going to go with you. Um, Any of the other children that would like to come with us to go to chapel, you can come with us. Let's go down the aisle and head on out. Thank you so much for my actors helping. Extra actors.